Hello everybody, Chef Bob here today and today I'd like to show you how to make a really good breakfast sandwich. It's going to consist of sausage, egg, and pancakes as your bun. Um, we're going to take a couple of shortcuts. One is we're going to use some uh, breakfast sausage that's already pre-packaged in a shape that's close to what we want. I have some Jimmy Dean here today and I'm just going to cut it into, I don't know, maybe what is that, three quarters of an inch per slice and you can uh, this is thawed out so it's hard to cut. If it was slightly frozen, it would be a little easier to cut. But there you go, we have three pieces. And in order to make it easier, I'm going to use this new pan. It's a three-section pan. It's made out of aluminum. It has a nice ceramic non-stick coating. And it's perfect for making a breakfast sandwich like this. So I'm going to pull over our heating element. Get this pan warmed up. I have it on high. And when that warms up, I'm going to put a light uh, coating of coconut oil on here. And then we're going to get started. Now, what I need to do is I need to form these in the shape of patties. And I just washed my hands prior to this, so I don't have to worry about that. And let's let's see how we're doing. And I'm just, I like to coat everything with, uh, you could use butter if you prefer butter. Uh, coconut oil has a little higher smoke point. So I just like to, even though it is a non stick coating, I still like to put some type of shortening on my pans. Okay. So now I'm just going to take this sausage with my fingers try to form it into a nice round patty the size of these wells as long as it's close and then I'm just going to press it in the well being careful not to burn myself and fill up the well with it we'll just do it for patty number two and patty number three now what works great is if I like to make a lot of these ahead of time and then freeze them and that way when you're hungry for a breakfast sandwich or you want to take one to work or wherever, you can just pull one out of the freezer and then heat it up at work. So we have, as you see, our three patties starting to sizzle. Oops. And it's going to take about, oh, I don't know, five or six minutes and then I'm going to flip them and I'll bring you back when it's time to flip those and then when they're finished and the second step will be to make the eggs and then the final step will be to make the pancake buns for it. It's starting to smell good already. Part way through the cooking process, I like to push down on them because they'll tend to want to rise in the middle just like hamburgers. So I just try to push down on them lightly to try to keep them flat. I'm also using a, a cookie flipper, a cookie spatula to get into this pan. It works a lot easier than a full size spatula. Okay, we got some really nice color on that first side. Now we'll let them go another two or three minutes on this side, and we'll go on to the eggs. Okay, let's take a look. This should be about done. Ah, perfect. And here you see our three patties which we have nice and uh, browned, ready to go. Now, at this point, you have your choice. Uh, some people prefer to use this, the, the grease that came off of the sausage patties and make the regs in that. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to drain off this grease, put some more coconut oil, and make the eggs. So just give me a minute or two to clean out this pan and get the sausage grease out. Okay, I've taken the grease out of the pan, and now I'm going to put another light coating 
of coconut oil in the wells. Okay. And I'm going to get our eggs ready. Now you have a choice. You can uh, put them in, say, a, a small mixer and scramble them. A lot of times I'll just put them in here and bust the yolk within the pan. But today I think I'll put them in here and scramble them up. Active today, splattering all over. Now we'll just scramble these up and pour them in. The Ninja uh, mixer makes it real easy and convenient to make scrambled eggs like this. So now I'm just going to pour this evenly in the three wells. Give it a minute or two. We'll flip them and then come back to make the pancake buns and test it out. I'm watching for the eggs to start to firm up around the edges and then I'll check the bottoms and make sure they're not burning. And then once they're close, I'll flip them carefully. I think they're about ready to flip and it, again a full-size spatula can be difficult this pan is so slippery and trying to get it in there can be difficult to do so I have this cookie spatula and we'll try to flip them carefully perfect and the last one you can see how slippery this pan is. Okay. Give it another minute or two to finish those and then we'll go on to the buns. Okay, it's been another minute or two. Let's take out our eggs and see how they look. Ah, perfect. Let me slide that one over there. Put this egg here. Okay, there you see. So now we have our sausage patties and our eggs all ready to go. Now for the final step. Now let me push this burner aside and I'm going to temporarily turn this down. I had it on about a medium high uh, heat right there. I turn that off for a minute. What I'm going to do, I'm using some, I'm um, taking another shortcut here uh, because these are supposed to be easy and simple to make breakfast sandwiches. I'm going to use one cup of pancake mix. Sort of the instant mix. You can mix some from scratch or get a more uh, a mix that needs some more ingredients. This one is a simple mix that just needs water. So the recipe on the box is one cup of mix to three quarter cup of water. So I'm just going to pour the water in here. Three quarter cup of water and one cup of mix. Try not to make a mess. And here I'm going to use the, uh, the Neutron Ninja just to mix this up. Real fast and easy. In there. Now, let me heat this back up. Put it on about a medium. I don't want to go quite as high. Oh! I almost forgot. There's one more ingredient. Now this will just make regular pancake style buns, but we want to make it more of a muffin biscuit style of bun. So I almost forgot one of the very important ingredients, one extra teaspoon of baking powder. Not baking soda, baking powder. Let's mix this back up again. Now we're good to go. Okay. Our 
pan should be hot. And now this, we need to make, remember we have three and three, but we need two pieces to each bun. So we need to get, use this to make six, uh, six small pancakes here. So I just poured around to fill up the wells in the pan. I usually do it a little sparingly to make sure I don't run out for the other half. Now just like when you're ordinarily making pancakes, you just wait for it to bubble and, and start to firm up a little bit, dry up a little bit on the edges and then flip it. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, as you can see, the extra baking powder makes them rise a lot more than a standard pancake mix. That's why it was very important that I not forget to add that. Okay, they need a little bit more time. Just try to take a little peek if you can, if you're not sure. Try to get your spatula on there, just take a peek. He's going to be perfect. Again, it was a standard mix with the one teaspoon of baking powder. Because you want to get that extra rise to make it more of a biscuit like a pancake biscuit rather than a, a flat style pancake. Okay, I'm going to try flipping these. Let's see how it goes. Since this pan is so slippery, it's a little bit forgiving in case you uh, you miss it a little bit when you flip. Whoops. Let's see how I do. Not too bad. Let's try it. Number three. Perfect. Okay. After this, we'll make the three more. You can these can be the tops or the bottoms. We'll make the remaining three. Put our sandwich together with a little maple syrup and give it a taste. I already know what it's gonna taste like, and it's gonna be awesome. Yep, a little more time. Okay, let's see. They should be about ready. Okay, number one. Number two. Number three. Okay. Now I'm going to paint just a little bit more uh, coconut oil in these wells for the next batch. Just to make sure we have no sticking. Okay. And here we go. Again, I'm just pouring it in to fill up the wells, not overdoing it. As soon as the bottom is covered, I stop pouring. If you have a little left over, you can either use it to make more sandwiches, make a couple of batches at a time, like an assembly line, which I usually do, or you can just use the remaining amount to make uh, regular pancakes. Although they'll be a little fluffier because of the baking powder. Looks like these are starting to get brown on the bottom. Let me check. Maybe another 15 seconds. Ah, look at that. So we need to take a look at that and see the, the browning. We're almost ready to taste these babies. Let's take a peek and see if they're about ready to... Oh, a little bit more. I think we can turn off the heat now. Plate these babies up. Perfect. Perfect golden brown pancake buns for our breakfast sandwiches with sausage and egg. Let me get this out of the way. It's rather hot. Give me a minute. Okay, I've taken our hot pan out of the way so we can focus on our breakfast sandwiches. Let's put these together. So bottom. What do we want to put on? Let's put the egg here. Next we'll put a sausage patty. 
And now we're going to drizzle some maple syrup on this. Whoa. Okay. I'll put a pancake on top. Take a look at that. Mm. Does that look delicious or what? Hmm? Okay. In fact, while that's, I'm going to give that a minute to cool. So while that's cooling, I'm going to assemble the others. So there's our other breakfast sandwiches, which you can share or eat all by yourself if you're really hungry. Okay. Let's give this a try. Mmm. 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 Hold on. Mmm. Mmm. The pancakes with the maple syrup, the sausage, the eggs. What more could you ask for? I mean, it's the perfect breakfast sandwich. Easy to make. Make a lot of them in advance. Wrap them up. Freeze them. Thaw them out whenever you want something for breakfast. They're great. Uh, you'll enjoy them. Make them for your family, friends, for the holidays. It's a perfect holiday snack. Maybe on Christmas morning you'll have a, a whole tray full of these in this hand out and serve. They're, they're great. So I highly recommend you try these. Uh, pancakes, sausage and egg, breakfast biscuits. And if you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more like this, please press the like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a good comment or two and let me know if you enjoy this. So in the meantime, I'm going to eat uh, this one and maybe another one or two of those. So thank you for watching and have a happy holiday. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It doesn't get any better than this. Mmm. Mmm. Mine. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -mm. Delicious.